Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's Sunday. How is everybody? Hope you've you've had a nice weekend by the time you've watched this. Um, I'm just editing uh, the vlog from yesterday and I've had an idea. I know it could be dangerous, but um, so yesterday um, we fully closed our curtains. This might not make sense to begin with, but so we fully closed our curtains yeah I was watching a film and on the curtain tie backy thing that's attached to the wall is this bag which is um, just a, a little project bag that I have got all of my minis well apart from two at the moment um, from my mouse switch yarn advent calendar so I have made my radvent cardigan Bit vent, rad vent, my rad vent cardigan. <coughs> I've used the colours in my Alpine Bloom, and I've still got quite a big bag um, full. So I was thinking to myself, well, I've made. I'm trying to so that don't fall over. I'm, I've made two biggish or big projects with the yarn, which I'm really, really happy about. Um, what should I do with the rest? And I'm um, in an armor in and I don't know what to do. And I was like, I could make scrappy socks. So um, that's what I'm doing. I am going to make scrappy socks. Now I've got um, two balls of yarn, which are these two colors here. So they're quite similar. Um, they're in the same colour family, they've got the same colours in. Uh, they One's darker than the other. And I thought, well, really, I want a colour that will make them look like they match because I'm not going to be doing the same rows, like the same colour. Um, I want them just, I, I'm going to randomly pick out of that bag, basically. So I've decided to start a toe in this colourway here, which was the second to last, so day 23 of the advent. Um, and then I'm going to, and the reason I'm doing toe up is because I want to use as much yarn as I can um, in this. I don't know how much I've got left. Um, I think it's over a hundred gram. Um, so they might be like long socks, they might be short socks. And also, Ian, um, me and Ian were talking about socks the other day. I know. Uh, and we were talking about pattern socks and Stephen West socks and just all different things. And he said, why don't I knit some socks and put them on blockers and have them on my shelf but at the back against the wall so it's nice and colourful. I was like... Oh, that could be a good idea. Um, and these would be very colourful, obviously, all these different colours. So, yeah, I have cast on a toe. I've done um, Judy's Magic Cast On. Um, I used to, when I first started knitting socks, they were toe up. Um, so it's not unusual for me, um, or it's not new to me, should I say. Um... I quite like toe up. Uh, the only thing that I wasn't a lover of before is the bind off, but been, but now I know Jenny's surprisingly stretchy <laughs> bind off. Um, I can just do that. So um, I'm going to be using these for heels, toes, and cuffs, and I think that will make them look matchy as much as I can. Um, I'm doing so normally. I've never done this before. I've always just knit front and back to increase on my toes. Um, but I'm doing make one left, make one right, which is coming out quite nice, actually. Um, I'm pretty pleased with how that's coming out. I've never done it like that before. I've just took the easy way and done knit front and back. Uh, and obviously that gives you a little um, bar. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. And uh, I thought because I've finished two big-ish product, pro products, pro projects, I've finished my flax, 
weeks. I finished the oh, I've finished three really. I finished the hat was a few days ago, but I finished my hat. I finished the flax. I finished my bottleton. Um, I've got every right to cast on something new, <laughs> so that's what I've done. Um, I have got my alpine bloom just down here because that is the next thing I want to work on. Um, and get that uh, a bit of progress done on that and I might knit on that today actually at some point but I want to get I'm going to knit these two at a time uh, but not on the same needle I don't think I'm just going to uh, knit the toe on this one knit the toe on another one um, and just knit them sort of concurrently and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use up all of the yarn now they're all different sizes um, well, some of them are, are different sizes so I'm gonna see how well that looks and maybe do a maximum of 10 um, oh, I've just had a thought I could do a dice roll oh I could roll the dice and that will tell me how many rows Oh, but then that would be super scrappy. Do I want that? I'll have a little think about whether I want that or not because I don't want like one or two rows. I will want like a minimum of at least four. Um, and I'll probably just do Stephen weaving my ends because I'm not gonna sit and weave in loads of ends on a sock. Um, Oh, that's a really good idea. Um, I am knitting these on a 2.5, which is my usual needle size, but I'm only going to go up to 60 stitches. And then that way, I will have a pair of socks that I've got on a 2.25 with 64 stitches and a sock on 2.5 with 60 stitches um, to see what I prefer. I've got more 2.5 needles than I have um, 2.25 needles, so... And it's the, it's the fit that is too big. So if I do 60 stitches, I'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, that is what I've been working on while I've been editing and waiting for it to export. And that's what I'm going to be working on for a bit more today. Um, Ian did go to work last night. You would have seen that at the end of the video last night. Um, he's in bed at the moment, so... I don't know what time he came in actually because I don't remember waking up or looking at the clock. I think I was super duper tired. <laughs> um, oh, thank you to everyone that's left me comments on my videos about my plants. Um, the lovely Alice has said to put a fan on the plants to mimic wind. Um, I have, sometimes I do open the window and the breeze does does come in um so there is like a little bit of movement but maybe it's not enough i don't know i have got a little fan that i can use um it's like a little usb fan i don't know where it is because it was over there um might be in that bag over there or i might have put it in a drawer I know I have got one, um, so I could do that and mimic like a bit more of a breeze, uh, but I am planning hopefully this week, next week, to to try and put them outside really. Um, it's nice and blue sky today, but yesterday it just kept raining and then it was really sunny, then it was raining again and then really sunny. Um, it was really weird weather yesterday, but today it's... Um, it's not supposed to rain, it's really windy, so, right, yeah, I'm going to go and knit some more of my sock, I'm going to upload my video because that's finished exporting, and put the kettle on, and just sit and chill for a bit, and hopefully get this toe done, so then I can cast on for the, the other one, really love this yarn, I love this yarn so much, um, and when I was knitting um, this here, I was just like, oh. and then I was knitting it on my Alpine Bloom and I was like, oh my God, Mandy, I need these in full skeins, please. <laughs> They're beautiful.
beautiful. I love them so much. I don't know, it's really out of my comfort zone, this like brown. I don't normally wear brown, but uh, it's just so lovely. I love it. Anyway, I'm going to go and uh, upload my video. So I may look a little dishevelled. Um, I've spent the last, I don't know how many hours outside in the garden, um, repotting all of the plants. And it didn't dawn on me till I came back upstairs. I was like, oh, I didn't film any of it. Um, so there are, I've got smaller pots um, downstairs. They're like sort of, this big like the little brown plastic ones um, and I had quite a few so what I did was I just decanted what I had into them to put in the greenhouse um, so I've I got the greenhouse from where it was I've only got a small I think you see it in the last video it's just a small greenhouse um, like with a plastic cover over the top so I I moved that out of the way, I put new copper tape around all of that, I put new copper tape around all of the plant pots, um, the, the big plant pots, and I put copper tape, um, where else did I put it, oh, on, the, on uh, the, the wooden thing, and I, I, I put it sort of around a few places, um, and I was very, very brave. Now, I don't like snails, snails creep me out, I just, I don't know, they just, I can't, I just can't do snails, um, but I did actually pick one up, um, so it was on the back of the greenhouse, on the outside, so it must have like gone up the wall, um, and it was quite a big snail, so I don't know whether that helped or not, but when I was putting the copper tape on, I just left it there, so I laid it on the floor, and I just left the snail there. I thought, well, it might come off, it might not. So I was wrapping the copper tape around and everything. Uh, I picked it back up and it was still there. And it had poked its head out. So originally it was just the shell, like you could just see the shell. Um, but then it stuck its head out and, um, yeah. And I, I don't know, I just thought it looked a bit more friendly. <laughs> um, but I did pick it up and I picked it up. And it wouldn't come away from the... Um, the plastic I was like oh I don't want to pull its shell off and I was just doing it really gently and it did finally come off um, and I held it and I was just looking at it and I, I don't know I was like inspecting this uh, this snail and um, its tentacles were going and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing I don't know um, but I did I didn't chuck it I just picked it up and I put it um, like on the grass bit next to me um, so yeah I didn't I don't harm snails like I normally just get uh, I normally get a stick or I get something that I can just pick them up and put them somewhere else I don't I don't do anything bad to them I just oh, I don't know just talking about them is giving me goosebumps um, so yeah I've been outside for many hours it's been lovely absolutely lovely the sun's been shining um, it's not been particularly warm, I did have a cardigan on, but literally as I was packing up and putting the rubbish in the bin, it started raining, <laughs> so I think I was quite lucky with uh, timing. But yeah, so I've put all of the pots and the strawberries, the strawberries really really do need to go in their own pot, um, but I've put everything in the greenhouse. I've put the greenhouse on a bit of cardboard. And I've put, I don't know whether this is any good or not, but I had some polystyrene. Um, well, we had some polystyrene that uh, came in the jet wash box. Um, and I've put that down as well. I don't know whether that deters or not. Um, I, I know it's not eco-friendly, biodegradable, this, that and the other. Um, but if it doesn't work, then I will just put it 
in the bin or I don't know I'll, I'll think of something um, but just as I was finishing as well um, I hurt myself so I use bamboo sticks to I, I was using bamboo sticks uh, like skewers to um, help the plants grow up them basically and I went to push I've got a box outside that lives in the bottom of the greenhouse uh, with like my gloves, some netting, some more little pots and just bits and pieces that it's nice and tidy in that box and I pushed it and one of the skewers went straight into my hand. Um, I have cleaned it and it, it did bleed a little bit, not a lot but it doesn't look very nice. Um, I have cleaned it with anti-back. Um, oh, I wonder if I've got any hand sanitizer. But yeah, it's it's not painful as such, but I think it's going to get a little bit more painful than it is right now. <laughs> um, so I'm glad I was stopping when I did, because obviously the rain and then I hurt myself and whatnot. But um, yeah, I'm really, I'm glad they're outside. I watered them and everything went really limp. <laughs> um, I've just made a nice cup of tea, because um, I think I deserve it. <laughs> it's going to be really hot. Yes, very hot. Um, and yeah, so everything went a bit limp, but I'm sure that happened before. And then once, like, I've shut the greenhouse as well. And what I'm going to do is, every, if it's a nice day, I'll open it up to get some breeze through. Um, there is a little hole in it as well, I must admit. There's a little, like, where it's, um, where the plastic has gone brittle. Um, so hopefully a little bit of air will go through. And I've had to prop it up with a piece of wood. Not prop it up, but I've uh, put a piece of wood up against it so it don't blow away. Because it's really windy. It's in the corner. I don't think it will go anywhere, but just in case. Um, I had one sunflower left and I snapped it. So the gloves that Ian have got me have got like a grip on them. Um, and when I was replanting the spring onions... The first couple I did, I was snapping and I was like, like I was taking them out and then I was gently loosening all the soil and then picking them out and then putting them in a, I put them in a big pot um, so I don't have to transport them again. They're just in a big pot in the bottom of the greenhouse and I'm hoping that will be okay. And if this doesn't work, because I'm hoping that I've planted them early enough that if any do die off I can quickly plant some more um, or pot some more I've got some more seeds um, and I'll do it straight from outside and I will move the greenhouse to a different place where the snails won't get to them and I'm hoping um, the snails won't get to them now but we'll just have to wait and see right it is now quarter to four I haven't had no lunch or anything, so I've just got a pepper army, some chicken bite things, and a cheese string. Because <laughs> Ian will be home shortly, and he'll probably want some dinner. I did go Tesco earlier on as well, so I've got some shopping. Have I even said hello today? I did, I did, yes. <laughs> oh, God. Um, but I'm going to watch some YouTube and um, just sit and rest my back for a minute. And I'm going to try and knit the rest. If my hand will let me, it should be okay. Um, the rest of this toe, so I can cast on for the other one. And I will catch you up later. So I am now picking up my socks. It's, it's a few hours later. <laughs> um, I've literally... I've finished, um, I've finished this sock. I've No haven't finished this sock I finished the toe <laughs> oh my god um, and I've been watching some YouTube just some random videos like people that I watch um, like van life um, and hauls and all stuff like that um, so yeah I've been doing that I have oh, I need to put a stitch marker on the front of this one actually but I've got my two toes and I've decided to um, get the dice app I have got a 12 sided dice here and I'm going to roll the dice but anything less than a 3 I'm going to roll again. I tried getting it where I could put my own numbers in um, but this is just a free um, 
dice up and I don't think I can actually mm, I, I don't really know um, I don't think I can put the numbers in myself so um, I've got the dice app I'm gonna roll the dice anything less than a three then I'm going to roll again and I'm thinking I might do a, a slip stitch pattern on these um, but then the, the slip stitches are going to be going the wrong way. Hmm. I just thought about that. I might just do a normal uh, vanilla sock and then that way I can uh, compare them with the other socks um, because I have only increased to 60 stitches. Um, that's what I'm going to do. That is the plan. So all of my yarn is in here. Um, whoops, other than one that's now on the floor. <laughs> I'm thinking of putting them in here um, I'm not sure. Uh, I've got this much left that I've used for the toe, uh, which should be enough to do like the cuff or something. And then this one, I'll probably do the heels. Um, so I will be able to like split it. So these are going to be the main sort of uh, contrast colours. I don't know whether to put them in here or not. Or just put my hand in and grab one out I think that's what I might do because I think that might be a bit better I don't know I don't know I'm just I'm overthinking this too much I really am so I'm going to roll the dice I'm going to pick a sock uh, to knit on so let's roll the dice and see how many rows of the first color oh 10 10 rows so the actual foot I'm going to do 65 rows um, because I've got less in the toe because I've not increased to 32 or 64 stitches I've only increased to 60 um, so in this bag really I should pick a bigger bag but um, let's have a little a rummage and if I can't get 10 rounds out of the the yarn that I pick then it is what it is I've picked this one uh, this is got yellow and uh, very small pops of pink in it so I'm going to put that in my yarn bowl it looks very small um, and I'm going to knit 10 rounds on this toe to, to make it a foot um, and I know I've got other things that I should be working on well should I be working on them? They're not a should. They should. They're a like I could be working on. But this is what tickled my fancy. So, and I think having a little bit more um, free reign, like I've got less. I feel like I've got less commitment <laughs> with my knitting. Like before, I had lots on the go. Where now I've got two big things on the go. I've just got my V back and my Alpine Bloom, and my Alpine Bloom is sort of on the body so that's we're getting somewhere um, and I just feel like basically I can cast things on and just be happy knitting on them I don't know does anyone else get like that I know a lot of people have lots of projects um, I get a bit overwhelmed when I've got lots um, but then sometimes I enjoy it and sometimes I don't uh, at the moment I am enjoying it but just knitting on what I fancy at the minute so yeah right let's knit 10 rounds on this sock so we've just had dinner and we're just settling down to watch some TV um, it's now well we had dinner quite a while ago but it's 20 past 9 I've been knitting on my sock and I have um, got three colours in so far it doesn't look very scrappy it looks like intentional stripes <laughs> um, so this one was 10 this one was 11 and this one has been 9 um, so I'm going to cut this yarn now um, and what I'm doing is the colours that I've used I'm just leaving them in here um, and I'm going to go to the other sock once I've finished this one. Um, so I'm just going to, I know I said I was going to try and do them at the same time. But I think I'm just going to do one sock and then do the other sock. 
that's what I'm planning. Um, I'm probably going to do the heel in this yarn, which is the lighter one. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure yet. Um, so, shall we roll, roll the dice um, another time so I can um, knit another colour? Two. So I said anything below three, I'm going to roll again because I don't want small little stripes like that. So I'm going to roll again. Twelve. <laughs> um, this sock is going to be really blocky, um, but you never know. The further I go up, the more smaller stripes might come in. Um, and the colour is going to be... Uh, let's pick this one. Oh, it's pink, but it's a very similar pink, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick again. Um, I don't really want the same colours right next to each other, I don't think. No. So, I'm going to pick oh, this one which is a bright yellow. I don't know whether I'm going to have enough to um, do a whole 12 rounds, maybe. Is there an end to this? Am I pulling the wrong yarn? Um, I don't know. I'm just pulling and pulling from the bag. Um, I feel like I'm pulling... No, I am pulling the right yarn. So this is going to be going into that sock now. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to work on this for this evening. Um, I'll probably get this edited tomorrow. I know I said I was enjoying editing of an evening, um, but I'm enjoying just knitting. So, that's the plan. We've just put on uh, a new programme on ITV, and it's called Passenger. Um, it's airing tonight, or whatever you want to call it, it's on tonight basically um, I'm assuming it's on um, ITVX as well because their programmes normally are on there so um, I've seen it advertised a few times oh there's the end and uh, it was on after we watched um, the Chase bloopers it was so funny really really funny um, Bradley Walsh is just he's brilliant, he's so so good um, and then all the chases got involved with it as well. So, yeah, it was just a really good programme. Um, so, yeah, right, 12 rows um, of this. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to end today's vlog here. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye.